what was wrong was it was good on paper, but in reality, it's not living. So what we wanted to do was to live those principles. We walked to that door, I was nervous. Joseph McNeil, he's probably much more sure than I was. Franklin McCain said, I wasn't scared at all. David Richmond was cool. He was always solid. But David Richmond was a warrior. His name was King David, right? And he could fight, but he was quiet. His word was, let's do it. Marine Corps. Who are? Who are? That's what we did. Walked through that door. And when we sat down, then the glory of the Lord shone about us. Were we afraid? I was a little apprehensive. Was I chicken? Yeah. You know why I was chicken? As they say, I had some, I had some questions to ask myself. What am I doing sitting here at the lunch counter? Am I gonna get killed? Is the police gonna beat the hell out of me? Oh, would my father and my grandmother beat the hell out of me for being down here causing trouble to my family? You understand? That is why those of us who are in Greensboro, we came on a greater burden for our actions than those who were not from Greensboro. See, the students who were transferred didn't leave to go home. Where could David Richmond and I go? But in Greensboro, the song says, where could I go but to the Lord? Then I had to go home and face my parents. And if we did not look right, dress right, like going to Sunday school, I said, the mom, I'm gonna put my overalls on. Come here, who's your mom? You are gonna do what I tell you to do. Right, Mom? Who hates Chris? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what do you want me to do? I want you to dress like you're my son, like you're going to Sunday school. But suppose I, I get killed. Well, you're dressed to kill. <laughs> so did anybody say anything to you as you were sitting at the counter? Yes. What did they say? Who, who spoke they to said, you? What did they say? The people said nothing at first, like, these niggas gotta be crazy. <laughs> Chappelle, can I say something? Who's the Ku Klux Klan? Oh, anyway, I got right on. I thought I saw the Ku Klux Klan. Anyway, yeah, they, they got this from us too. The Klan got their clothes from us too. Read Dr. Rogers' book, A.J. Rogers' book. Great Men of Color, 2000 B.C. to 1947. He was a blind, blue-eyed Negro. I thought he was a white man. But anyway, as you were saying, when we sat down at the lunch counter, get all of Mr. Rogers' books. He's the real Mr. Rogers. Go to other Mr. Rogers, the two of them. Right? When we sat at the lunch counter, we sat down slowly. First, we went to the merchandise counter, and we bought merchandise. We kept the receipt. We were guided by a man named St. Raphael, St. Anthony, Yahana, in Hebrew and Arabic. In English, his name was Ralph Anthony John. They call him Ku, our cousin, Ralph Cousin John. We went by his store before we came here that day. And so what happened, he gave us instruction. You see, it takes everybody to make up the mosaic of America. He was a Maronite Christian. He was an Arab. He believed in Allah. He believed in Yahuwah, Jehovah. He believed in Al Shaddai. His father came from Damascus, Syria. Well, Paul said he got enlightened, right? That's Ralph John. Ralph John knew the scripture. And Ralph John came to Greensboro in 1947 from Hollywood. He was the original Sheik of Araby, but they wouldn't put him in the movie. They put, put Ralph Valentino there. So Ralph, you go, go get your news reports, go back and look up, uh, what's the guy, the two comics, uh, short guy and the big guy. Skinny guy and the short guy. What were they called? Alvin and Costello. Uh, Alvin and Costello. You see Ralph John's in the picture. He's dressed in the Arab clothing. Oh, you see him bending over looking in the barrel, right? Okay. That's Ralph John. Okay. All right? That's Ralph John. He came to Greensboro, and he came with a dream. He came with a dream to see a world transform. They call him Nicolau and everything. But Ralph John, he was the one who gave us instructions that day. So we walked in, purchased articles at the lunch counter, kept the receipt, and tip those to the tulip, you know, and sit down on this counter. Did I chant home, 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 home?
said, what do you boys want? We said, would you like to be served real please? She said, you know, we don't serve Negroes here, colored people. We said, there's a stand up lunch counter over there for you. We said, no ma'am, thank you ma'am, we were very polite. We practiced nonviolent. We had nonviolent insistence on our rights as human beings, equal rights. We, we've had, we practice nonviolent resistance to evil, which we call racist segregation. But evil comes in many forms. Evil comes in colors. Evil can be brown. Evil can be pale, white. Evil can be red or yellow. Evil can be nappy haired or straight haired. Blonde or blue eyes, black eyes. Evil comes in all colors and forms. The reason why we're here today is to bring enlightenment that we must look for the light inside of us. Each one of us has a duty to take care of your body temple. Know ye not that these are part of the temple of the living God? This is becoming a temple for civil rights. But the original sin movement continues out of the past. There's more to be done for the original sit-in movement. That's why I'm here. So the lady would not serve us. And so we said, no ma'am, we'd rather sit here. But this is the temple here of that event. If you're looking for Jesus here, you're not gonna find him. If you're looking for a Messiah, you're not gonna find him here. You will find a moment in history for civil rights. But if you're looking for the Messiah, Messiah's in here. about not having the right to vote in this great society. We were thinking about people respecting people, like the great prophet who some people call son of God, the Greeks call him Jesus, the Yoruba people call him Eshu, E-S-H-U. In Hebrew, they call him Yeshua, meaning Yahweh saves. Others call him Yahweh Shah, meaning Yahweh is the Shah, S-H-A-R, Yahweh is the king. Some people call him Shah Shalom, Shah Shalom, S-A-R, Shalom, Prince of Peace. But that's what we were thinking about. We wanted to do this the right and proper way. We wanted to make an impact. As Franklin McCain said, we did not want the world on fire. We just wanted to eat in peace, love, and harmony. In peace, love, and harmony. 